Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. It is episode 34 of our blind playthrough here on YouTube, and I'm just sitting down to record for the night, and I'm very excited to spend the next couple hours in this wonderful world, these wonderful worlds, this system, this planetary system. Uh, we're going to get started here in just a second. But I just wanted to say, as a person who has no idea how far into this game we are, I'm going to take every goddamn opportunity to cherish it. And so, when I sit down to record, uh, I just have to say how special this game is to me. All right, welcome back. Hey, <laughs> uh, what did we learn in the last episode? In the last episode, we made it to the bottom of the core of Giant's Deep, uh, the, the undercurrent of Giant's Deep. We found the probe tracking module there. We... Discovered what we we got the biggest picture of of where we are and what's happening here uh, So far, there's still some some information missing in my head. I still have a journal full of uh, Actual questions that I have don't look too closely or you'll actually be able to see them actual questions that I have written down uh, And then I have actual You know that I'm actually concerned about finding the answer to uh, However, I think the thing that is most pressing to me is to find the last signal on our signal scope which should be uh, a quantum shard, yeah, yeah, quantum signal on Ember Twin. The thing that we discovered here is that there is a, like... Ah, shit, now I kind of forget. I'm going to mark Church Camp. I think we discovered... <laughs> now I kind of forget, it's been like two days since I recorded, so it's not been that long. I think we found a way into where the quantum signal is coming from, or at least close to it. Um, however, we were right at the end of a time loop and out of fuel and oxygen and etc. So we're going to go back and try and find that ship. Uh, the goal is to put down on the planet with plenty of oxygen and plenty of time and etc. And if the autopilot kills me right now, it'll be 07s to me. Nope. Maybe. Maybe. We're going to, we're going to spend some time trying to triangulate. So. Um, all right. So here's how this worked. There was a... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. The buttons are rough. It's been a couple days since I played. Um, is it that right there? I think it is. No. Oh, well. Fuck it. Let's just get down on the ground. I wonder if we missed anything in the uh, rumor mode last time. I don't think so, because I think we just died on our, like, relatively quick run here on number twin last time. So, looking right there. Oh, that's a church. That's not the right one, even. 260 meters that way. So I guess I didn't pop onto the right part of the planet, huh? There's the gravity cannon. Uh, there's these different walkways. Okay, I did make that. Whew, that was a little bit closer than I would have liked it to be. Two hundred meters down. Hmm. I feel bad because I think we were like maybe somewhat close to tackling this last time, and we just didn't have quite the time. Uh, 195 meters, kind of right below me. All right. Okay. Just going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Hey, someday I'm coming for you, too. But I don't know that that'll be right now. Someday, though. Someday. That's a mystery. That's one of my questions. <laughs> uh, here. This is literally it. Oh, incredible. Okay. So, here's what I don't remember. I think we made it, like, right here and then died, yeah? I don't know. You guys will literally... It's kind of funny doing this with uh, blind playthroughs sometimes. That, like, you guys occasionally get a better handle on what's happened recently than I do because of the way that... It would be actual insanity to try and to try and record these episodes 
hey, you know what? We found it. Oh, let's go. That was easier than I thought. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. I literally just... <laughs> I took a picture. And then I put it away. Oh, I'm so dumb. All right. Now, where are you going? The cave shard. Okay. So when you disappear, where could you possibly be going? Give me the light on the whole room. I have the picture. Uh, uh, go. Where is it going? You know? Hold up. I was sort of asking that question, uh, rhetorically. But it goes 194 meters down? Hold up. Through there. Okay. All right. Let's read this first then. It's disappearing fully from view. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, Melloray says, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip. It has been missing ever since. Melloray and Coleus. I'm trying to remember where they would have been. Are they the ones who came? Uh, I vaguely remember like... Coleus might be the one who was so excited to blow the fucking probe uh, cannon up every time. I'm not sure. Melloray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? Okay. You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Melloray? I might have been completely wrong then. This sounds like these are not the same people. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Cave, bottom of dry lake bed, North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample. When I turned back, he simply was not there. He had a limited supply of air, Anana. I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis, we'll learn more by examining the Northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Okay. Hello there, by the way. Uh, I kind of want to take a picture of it. Shit. And then see what happens here. Where do you think this goes? This is headed vaguely north, this cave. So, I... Wait, what? They just have two... Why do they have two doorways like this? Wait, what? I'm confused. There's the escape pod. I don't know that I should be confused, but I am. So this is a walkway along the equator, right? Like equator should be halfway through this thing. Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. So then where is the upper cave coming out? I need to go to the North Pole, basically. That's fine. That's vaguely that direction. What? Shouldn't I be able to see the entrance to this? Oh, it's slightly to the left. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I need more oxygen too. Fuck. We should probably go to Chert, actually. Um, we should go to Chert. Also, this is probably the lake bed. Oh, this is the lake bed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I fucked up. I think it's gonna be okay. Big fire, big fire, big fire, big fire. We made it. Okay. I'm going to need some oxygen and some trees. Chert, buddy, I'm coming. Hello. Hello. I'm going to put the uh, thing away. Hi, Chert. 
Uh, what's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or four on the stars. Maybe you'll spot one yourself. I don't know if I've spotted a supernova. They look extra bright to the naked eye. If you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars give supernova at the very end of their lifespan, which is why it's unusual to see two in a single day. Sorry, I need to talk slower. I wonder if two of these stars, some of these stars are older than we realized. Okay, am I entirely crazy? Or was Chert the one that was very depressed about the world? I think I might be crazy. It's not Gabriel. Hold up, I'm gonna click these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Was it? Oh man, now I'm, oh, and I, I cannot Google to confirm because I do not, I do not want to Google to confirm. So it's not Gabriel on Giant's Deep. It's not Feldsbar. Uh, who else do I have? And on what planets? Uh, okay, I'm gonna focus on the dialogue at hand. Is Chert less depressed? Or is this somebody else? Ah, man, I'm confused today. Okay. I found Know My Writing about a hidden planet. How fascinating it might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system. It would just have to be incredibly far out there, farther than Harthian ships would be able to travel. Honestly, we don't all that much know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. Chert. Gabro. Feldspar. It's not Esker. Esker's on the moon. Feldspar's there and also on Timber Hearth. Who am I missing here? Uh, was it Ryback? Who's super depressed? I could have swore, and maybe I'm literally making this up, but I could have swore it was Chert who was watching all of the, the stars go supernova and was depressed as hell. And frankly, totally feasibly. I don't think it's Ryback. Yo, I'm being fucked with. Once again, I think I'm being fucked with. It's entirely plausible. I think this is happening. I'm pretty sure Chert, when I talked to them the first time, was depressed as hell. In a, like, very, like, it didn't really depress me, but it was a very, like, uh, existential, like, our universe is crashing down around us, like, what does any of it matter, you know, uh, and now he's, sorry, they're, they're very cheery. Goodness, it's you. Hello. So many exclamation marks. I take it your first launch went well then, huh? The optimism. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand. The, ca the carefulness there. I have a question for you. Hold up. Let me go through these. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, I found No My Writing about a hidden planet. We talked about this one. I found No My Writing about the quantum moon. Everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another tra uh, place it travels to. Yes, there is. The eye of the universe. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps it takes a closer look. If I take a closer look at these star charts. I don't know that that's how you're going to find it. What are you up to? Yo. 100%. I, I think I... I found no my writing about the sun station. I have an idea. 
Is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This sun station? Quite clever of the Nomai to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct and hot inside, I can only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth from the sun station from the hourglass twins when the slightest slip up would have met a fiery death. Actually, they can warp each other there, thanks to basically like black hole, white hole core technology. Um, which reminds me that I need to get back to the black hole forge. I found modern Nomai transmission saying the universe is dying. You what? I don't. Um, what? You mean to say there are modern Nomai out in other parts of space and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing is dying currently right now. If if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernova were there. But I, but I've been studying the stars for, well, what does it matter if, oh, I'm going to cry. I'm crying. I'm very sorry, but I have to look over my charts. I <laughs> hope you don't mind. Yeah, dude, I thought, oh my God, my plan as soon as I got done with that piece of dialogue was going to be to wait at this fire uh, for 10 minutes and then talk again. Holy shit. This is mind blowing. If you talk to Chert early in the loop, when there's still scars, stars in the sky, Chert has not realized it. I have chills. Surely I would have seen some kind of other sign than the supernova. He's trying to talk. They're trying to talk themselves out of it. They're, they're in denial. Perhaps. No chair. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I have to test it now. Man. I have not been that emo- I've been- oh. Alright, um, here's what we gotta do. Sorry, I'm hitting buttons. Uh, here's what we gotta do. I'm- oh, flustered. I've been... in awe in this game. Um every episode we're 34 episodes in I've, I've experienced a sense of awe and wonder 50 times easily um i have grieved i would say exactly once and it was just now uh it was just now when i watched chert come to the understanding that I had come to before um yeah dude I'm getting emotional just talking about it uh we have some stuff to read there I don't really care about it right now honestly um here's what we're gonna do Uh, we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna keep that marked. And we're gonna go to Chert. And we're gonna, we're gonna give this, this is now my entire focus for the episode. I hope, I hope maybe we'll get to some other stuff, but, uh, this might be, uh, this might be the cool, the cool is not the right word. I'm at a, <laughs> I can't talk about it. Um, this might be the coolest moment in the playthrough for me. Cool isn't the right word, but like, it's all been a mental puzzle. And when it hasn't been a mental puzzle, it's been my looping life. And so when it's been my death or it's been the explo an explosion or when it's been anything, it's sort of mattered a little bit less. It's hurt a little bit less because I'll be back, because 
you know, etc., etc., etc. And church. And Chert does not have that same uh, perspective. This is a loop. This is... Chert is just diligently doing Chert's job. Goodness, it's you. Hello. Shit, I, I meant to hit. Never mind. Um, wrong button. I'm all flustered. And for that reason, it uh, it really hits me, man. It, it yeah, it just hurts. <laughs> and it's because I'm grieving for Chert and not because I'm grieving for myself, right? I think it's the same way that like, I was talking with somebody the other day about, I think it is so much harder uh, to consider your to consider the mortality of someone that you love than it is to consider your own. At least for me it is. I don't know that it is for other people. But it's so much harder to uh, to watch another person come to the understanding that their universe is ending and the stars are supernovaing as I think we're about to see. I have to go, what, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna wait till probably 15 minutes Pro uh, probably like 12 minutes and I'm going to go to maybe 15 to be safe. I'm not sure. And I'm going to go back to church and I'm going to re-experience that dialogue knowing I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this any other way. I'm going to cry. Uh, knowing that Chert was, I experienced Chert as depressed and existentially afraid and and like not even afraid just like despairing despairing is the is the better word desperate it's fewer stars yeah i don't know how far into the into the thing we are i'm going to risk it i'm going to doze off for another minute or two um and i thought that was Chert's baseline and it hurts so fucking much to realize that that is a that is a, a a worldview and a feeling that Chert arrived at in the last twenty minutes. The stars—they're all dying. There have been too many super, supernova for it to be anything else. We are next. Do you understand? Our son. By Hearth's name, we're next. What do you mean we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our son, it. The star charts. Why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know. But no, oh no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our son is about to... About to... Oh, I don't feel well. And I'd like to be alone, please. Uh, why are they dying? I don't know. They're old, far older than we realized. Now all of them are dying. What does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing matters anymore. All my research, my life's work is wasted. Wasted, you understand. Just saying hi. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening. I can't. I won't. I won't believe it. All right. Um. So I'm gonna meditate until next loop. Oh. This game, dude. This game. I started today. I started, I clicked on Chert's, Chert's dialogue and I was like, hold up, wait a minute. This is weird. This is strange. Something's different. God, it's insane. It's truly insane. Um, 
Okay. Uh... I don't want that to be the entirety of this episode, though. I've just spent so much time going over that church dialogue and and appreciating it as fully as I can and experiencing it, but I'm not gonna. That's not gonna be the entirety of this episode. We have some we have some information that we learned, and I think it is only fitting that we chase some of that down today, because I think the tendency to despair in the face of an existential threat like that is understandable and also not where I want to end and not what I want to not what I want to spend my time on there's more to experience on the quantum caves I found one cave and I think there's more uh supposedly the lake bed cave a gnomai named coleus mysteriously vanished from the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole we're gonna go back to church and we're going to go from there. Let's go to rumor mode real quick. Because uh, somewhere over here, quantum caves, lake bed caves. Okay, cool. This should be the uh, the piece of information, yeah? All right. Um, the last tower, I think. All right. We're bucking up. Here's what we're doing. We're bucking up. We're gonna go visit Chert. Please don't autopilot me into the surface of Hearth. Okay. We're gonna go visit Chert. It's early in the time loop, so Chert's got no worries. I, I, uh, what it, uh, this is really fitting the timing of my playthrough of this game for me personally. I am a huge Arcade Fire fan. Arcade Fire is a musical band from Canada. I love them very deeply. Uh, I've loved them for 12 years, 15 years, something like that. Um, they release an album like every five years. So it's like, it's not like uh, a new Arcade Fire album is like a thing that I've experienced many times. I think I've experienced three, but I love Arcade Fire. You may hate them, you may not, you may not know who they are. That's all fine with me. Uh, personally, I just, uh, I've really enjoyed their music. They released uh, five days ago, something like that, uh, a new album. And the last song on that album is about uh, Sagittarius A star, which is not a star at all, but which is the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, and which uh, and the song, the last song, it's you know, I don't, I'm not going to be able to describe to you how uh, how a song makes me feel all that well on this. Uh, video game uh, playthrough that we're doing here. However, uh, we also just got a couple days ago uh, the first pictures, I believe, the first imaging of Sagittarius A star. Uh, and I've just really, I would just really encourage you if you haven't heard already um, or you haven't learned about it already to uh, take some time to read about that or to learn about it it's cool to nerd out about uh space stuff it's also just uh okay so where is this i think it's neat I think it's really neat anyways i've been uh loving that song for a little bit and here we are the end the one the other thing i wanted to say is that the ending of that song is this this is a different one okay so hold the fucking phone I thought so. <laughs> Yo, okay. Well, this is one of the caves. Okay. The other thing I wanted to say is that the end of that, uh, a song is about like, uh, sort of the ending of the universe and, or the galaxy, whatever. And, um, but it's also about love. And I, uh, I don't know. I have no good words today. I have no good words. Outer Wilds has stolen my words. I'm supposed to be a creative writing, like, person who can express himself and I can't today I can't and I blame this game Melloray says Coleus is missing he vanished from the lake bed cave the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the north pole several days ago and we're unable to find any trace of him I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared I beg any friend reading this help us reach Coleus 
Rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock that I met earlier. Was this the same rock? Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Mallory and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there. Sometimes it isn't. So this must all be before Coleus got lost. This rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Yes, yes, how curious. Of course. So, I think I have found two caves, but not the northern lake bed cave. Uh, I need to go that way, I think, actually. So, that must be this opening. It must be at the bottom of this. Oh, buddy, that's a lot. That's a lot. Maybe don't send it so hard. Oh, buddy, all right. It's funny that this thing has been moving, you know? I don't know. Do we just... Oh, there is a stair. Okay. Ah! There's a stair! Oh, my God. There's a stair, and then I full sent it off the edge. All right. We want to go quick here. We want to go quick here. Just because we could fill with sand at any point in time. Oh, is it too late already? No. It's too late already. All right. There you go. Unless it's on the other side or something. I don't know. I'm going to check one time on the other side of the uh, of this thing. That's what I get for uh, going to the other cave first, I guess. All right, right in here. Let's just send it. Oh, that's too hard. It's too hard. All right. Yep. All right. Well, we are going to have to speed here. So, a lot of deaths to meditation today, but that's because uh, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to waste any of your time currently on this specific episode. <laughs> you know, it's it's that I don't want to waste your time by flying into the sun. I also don't know if I could face it. At this point, meditating until death uh, feels peaceful in a way that uh, flying headfirst into the sun while Chert mourns our... sings a lament for our... All right, I got to be real quick because I got to go. Um, While Chert mourns our... Our universe is too metal for me. It found, it turns out, <laughs> we found something that is too metal. Uh, we have an uh, update log, update on the log. Here, Lake Big Cave, Wandering Rock, first spotted in a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed in Amber, Ember Twins, North Pole. All right, we go quick. I don't know that it has to be that quick, but like, we spent a little bit of time in that other cave. I was also like waxing, but you know, I was waxing poetic. Go, 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 go. I'm so grateful. Oh, I'm so grateful that we found Chur early in a, in a, in a loop. Can you imagine if we never have known? My picture of Chur is so more full, so much more full now, you know? Oh man. It's like, uh, it's, this is a weird thought, but it's like, it makes me, if I'd have only ever known, wait, oh no, I got out of my ship. Oh fuck. How did I fuck that up? <gasps> time, time, time. I'm, I don't have enough time. We can do this. We can do this. Just go straight for it. Honestly. Oh dude, this, the landing. Yep. Honestly, if it doesn't want to land, I'll just get out. Sounds good. Love it. All right, cool. We did it. What I was going to say is that, uh, imagine if we'd have only ever known Chert as the depre the like, you know, existentially afraid, d despairing person, uh, Parthian that he, he is at the end of a time loop. It's not that one. Oh, you fucker. Putting a maze in? Really? Outer Wilds? You gonna put a maze in while I'm stressing? Oh, that's cruel. Oh, that's so cruel. You fuckers. Oh, you, I love it. I hate you, I love you. Behind a waterfall. What's happening here? 
What is this? What's happening here? Am I stuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it a hard jump I have to make? Oh my god, I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go here. There's that one. I think I have to make it to this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, man. It's a maze and then it's parkour. Oh, no. Did I whiff? No. Not like this. Not like this. Land it. Land it. Land it. Do we have time? Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Oh, this is tense. I should make the small jump first, just in case. Okay, the sand level does not actually appear to be rising, so that's good. Okay, we can also use our scout for, uh, for light. Okay. Nope, okay. Fuel remaining 50%. Oh, no. game dude oh my god i was like i swear to god one of those just moved oh my god oh my god it did do i need to go that way i can't tell i probably do oh my god oh my god at least it like sin seems to rotate a little bit Okay. Oh. Oh. Cave shard. Uh. Uh. Let's do this. Sna snapshot. Keep it here. Why is there a thing? A switch. Why is there a switch? If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. How the fuck did you guys get all the way down here? He's been missing for two days now. Burr, what happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. Oh my god, I know what it is. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Your strange wandering rock friend is here. Coleus is not. I know what it is. I think I have to do it this way first. Shit, I think I have to do it this way first. Nope, it turns out I do not know what it is. Nope. Okay, never mind, I'm a dummy. <gasps> is it lights? Scout will provide light, unfortunately.
keep an eye on the globe. Shit. Do I still have the lights on? Fuck! <laughs> I fucked it. Alright, alright. This 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 one'll work. This one'll work. This one'll work. Keep an eye on the globe. The big reveal. Okay, that's the two level one. That's the cave we were just in. This is the cave. Don't want to look away. This is a cave I, I do not... Um, this is a cave I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck. I looked away. That's fine, though. Oh... How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or an exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis, if the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. I can tr my hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Meaning I must be in complete darkness. It makes sense. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melloray is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness. The being can become entangled with that quantum object. Quantum entanglement. And they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Incredible. <clears throat> really cool. Holy shit. I think it might be random. Did you guys notice how these are all different every time? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's very weird. That's strange. Sometimes the Nomai are like walking skeletons. Incredible. This might be my favorite episode. I mean, I don't know. Look at that smoke trailing upwards into a, a sky of supernova ing stars. I don't know. I don't know if, if I have a favorite, but this had it all, you know, it had the moment of scientific exploration or uh, uh, realization, but it also just had like, you know, what's perfect. I wouldn't change. I know there's a million ways to play this game and I know the order has to affect in some way, shape or form the realizations you have, but I would not change a moment of this journey for me. I wouldn't change the order. I wouldn't change anything. Just a couple episodes ago, we rode a probe to the edge of the fucking universe and looked back as our tiny little sun supernova We had this, it's, oh, the same, the same perspective, you know? We, we reached Chert so long ago and was like, oh shit, Chert's really depressed. Chert's really despairing here. And it, it was perfect then. Because yeah, I hear you, Chert. And it is so much worse. Knowing at first he was so different. Oh. Why is there a halo around, uh, around Ash Twin? 
I don't know. Well, that was actually kind of sick. That right there. It's probably just the atmosphere. All right, friends. That's going to do it for this episode. Until next time. I don't know that there's any possible way tomorrow will be more exciting than what we did today, but uh, maybe. Who knows? Who knows what's next? Sun Station? Who fucking knows? Until then, I will see you tomorrow. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode as much as I have. Thank you for your patience when I cannot possibly describe what this game means to me. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. No damage? Come on. I'm gonna like run out of air in a second. I really wanted to die to fall damage. I'm trying to pad the fall damage stats. Come on. Fall damage stats. Come on. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Bye bye. God bless it. I guess I'll just suffocate. Use all that fuel. See ya. Bye bye. Later. Ha, 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 ha.